Hi. In this video, I want to cover a topic uh, which becomes more problematic nowadays and more important. Um, this SSL interception with men in the middle uh, attacks, uh, especially here with Ettercap. Um, the, the problems are not related to Ettercap, but we will visit the, um, the whole topic here, of course, in regards to Ettercap. Um, this video will be split into two parts, as I do this for uh, many of my videos, um, because I'm, uh, uh, I believe that you need to understand really the mechanics behind and why are things the way they are uh, before you really can use them in, in such a complex scenario with men in the middle. Uh, that's why it's split into a theory part and a demo afterwards. And let's then jump right into the uh, lesson. So revisit what we are doing. We are doing a man in the middle uh, attack. We are doing it with ARP. Uh, we could also do this for uh, IPv6 traffic with NDP. Uh, of course, you need to be aware of um, both address families. I have made other videos um, covering this topic. Um, but for simplicity, we believe we have IPv4 only traffic here, and uh, so we need only to take care of our poisoning. Yeah, it doesn't matter much. Um, yeah, so we have here our victim, um, we have our attacker connected to the same LAN, and what we do with Ethercap is we uh, put the victim as target as one target and uh, the router the default gateway as the other target. Then we start the ARP poisoning. And uh, we can then, even when we check re uh, sniff remote connections, um, we can even see traffic between victim and our target server. Okay, so far, I think that is uh, common knowledge. Um, but we have to understand that the target server on the internet might not be alone. There might be also other destinations, remote destinations uh, beside our target. The, they are there, yeah. and when we do our poisoning, we cannot influence, um, let's say, uh, selectively poison only the traffic to a certain to our target server. So we cannot, by design, say, Ethercap, please only poison me the traffic from the victim to the target server because I'm only interested in this. This is not possible by design. And this is important to understand. Uh, it will always see the IPv4 traffic between victim and all other remote destinations, including Google, Facebook, and so on. Yeah. By default, this is not a big deal, it's not a big problem, because the default settings of Ethercap um, say it, it's not treating uh, anything different. Uh, so we see all the traffic coming from the victim, going through Ethercap and all the desti destinations. Um, regardless of what they are, uh, is it encrypted traffic, SSL traffic, IP, HTTP traffic, whatever. Uh, all IPv4 traffic is then treated the same way. Um, yeah, but the problem here is that we might be interested in the what's going on in the SSL traffic towards our target server between victim and target server. This is maybe our interest. We might not be interested in what's going on with Google, uh, but between the victim and the target. And for this, uh, Ethercap has, uh, since quite some time, a feature that is called SSL interception. Um, yeah, so let's have a look how we enable SSL interception in Ethercap. So we have to locate the file, the configuration file, etter.conf. This is typically uh, located in slash etc slash ethercap and you can open this with a text editor and you see quite at the top um, the prefs section and there you find ecuid and ecgid perimeter and we need to set both of them to zero this makes ethercap run or keep running in um, root permissions and this is required for the SSL interception to work. And the second step is we need to scroll down in the same file and locate a section for our operating system. 
In my case, I'm running it on Linux, so I scroll down to when I find this Linux section banner here. And there I, I find some radio command on, radio command off, and the same for the IPv6. Um, commented out. And what we need to do is we need to remove the leading comment at the beginning of the line. So once it looks like this, yeah, so we have removed the comment of the radio commands, we have set EC, UID and GID to zero, we can save and quit the file and start at the cap again with sudo. Okay, so let's have a look what happens now. Um, whenever an SSL protocol or packet for an SSL protocol comes around, we attract, we remember, we attract all IPv4 traffic due to the ARP poisoning approach. Um, SS, the attack cap will now fake towards the, the victim being the SSL server. And in parallel, it will fake towards the actual destination that attack cap is the SSL client. And in this way, attack cap can decrypt the traffic between victim and attack cap and uh, encrypt the traffic between Adacap and the actual server and it sees the actual unencrypted payload and can do stuff with it, uh, reveal uh, credentials uh, or whatever. Yeah, but the default behavior of Adacap is to do this regardless of the protocol and regardless of the actual remote destination. The reason for this is that this SSL interception feature has been introduced in EtherCap in a time where the internet was not, um, uh, let's say, the internet was not the majority of traffic, encrypted traffic. This was uh, only a portion, but we have also quite a lot amount of unencrypted traffic. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, but. What will happen now? Um, I said that all SSL traffic is uh, in scope for the SSL interception, and by default, Ethercap will generate a server certificate and using it as a self signed certificate and presenting this certificate within the SSL handshake to the victim. Uh, the victim, of course, is not trusting our self signed certificate, and he will then most probably face quite some warnings or maybe uh, applications stop working, bring some error messages that the victim uh, yeah, might become cautious that something is going on in the background. And even worse, uh, the famous websites like Google, uh, Facebook and many others um, are protected against the SSL interception using mechanisms like HSTS or pre-built browser settings um, and these have the effect that the, the victim even cannot overrun the decision of the browser to not establish a secure connection. Yeah, it warns it, uh, the secure connection is not possible, but for those services, that those serv protected services, you cannot even, the victim cannot even overrule this decision from the browser. Uh, it's simply not possible anymore. Yeah, and here is now with the majority of SSL traffic nowadays, the issue when you do SSL interception with a man in the middle um, and also this applies also for Ethercap. Yeah, um, we thought about this problem and our approach is that we introduced a feature that is called targeted SSL interception. Um, this feature is there since um, version 0.8.3.1 um, and let's have a look how targeted SSL interception works. So now when an, um, when an SSL packet comes, ar uh, comes around, Ethercap checks the destination address of this packet and only if it has a rule for SSL interception for this destination and protocol, it will then fake the SSL server to the victim 
uh, and to the, the, the fake SSL client to the actual target. Um, of course, still with our self-signed certificate, so the victim might still get a warning, but all the other remote destinations will not be impacted or not be affected by SSL interception. They are the SSL traffic is left alone for those destinations. We remember that with due to the ARP approach that we still attract all the traffic. But here now Attercap is now selectively uh, intercepting the SSL traffic only for certain destinations. Yeah, we remember the default behavior is all protocols, all destinations intercept. And now you can specifically define what destinations you really want to intercept and which you want to leave alone. Okay, then uh, I think the concept is now hopefully understood. Let's jump into the, um, the area how to set this up in Edgercap. Uh, in the GUI we find uh, the menu, the men in the middle menu in the header bar with this menu button here on the right side. And the last entry is SSL intercept. So when this entry is there, as a targeted SSL interception is supported. Then we find the list, and this is actually the the visual representation of the default behavior of SSL interception for any address family, for any destination, for all the supported encrypted protocols. Edgecap is doing SSL interception. But as we learned, this is not what we want. So what we have to do is we have to select all the entries and remove them. And this is the first step. Right click uh, and remove all entries is an alternative way doing this. And the next step is then to insert a new redirect. We get then a new um, dialog where we have to specify the IP version, the IP address, so it's not the URL, it's not a host name, it's the IP address. So you need to find out what is the actual IP address of a certain URL. And then of course the protocol that is going to be intercepted. Now you have different protocols, IRC, FTP, HTTP, SMTP, IMAP, POP, uh, all of them can be SSL protected, but you need to specify um, what this is and the default ports then apply for HTTPS, it's 443. And then say, um, when we've done this, we say insert. And now we have set up our rule and our only rule in SSL interception. And now we have set up targeted SSL interception in Ethercap. Um Here, I want to highly recommend doing these steps before you start the R poisoning or NDP poisoning. Because otherwise, uh, we have the default behavior of Ethercap with all the um, rules being in place for any destination, and then you start uh, poisoning the ARP or NDP, and the victim will, uh, all the applications might break immediately. Uh, and then in the meantime, you set up then your rules but then the um, shit already hit the fan. It's too late, basically. Okay, so this is it for the theory part. Um, I hope you understood that uh, the man in the middle approach attracts any traffic regardless of the remote destination and the default behavior of Ethercap doing SSL interception uh, in combination with the implication of ARP and NDP poisoning is leading to break quite a lot of SSL communication, which is nowadays crucial and uh, the majority of the traffic um, towards the internet. And therefore you need to really fine grain um, define your SSL interception uh, you want to do before you running your attack. Okay, so then I'm going to prepare the demo and we will see in the next video. Um, yeah, stay tuned and take care. See you soon and bye.